cruelest memory. The pointy, bitey little thunderbolts, unwanted party crashes, screaming for your synapses. <laughs> Inescapable, unrelenting, not at all friendly. You can't even escape into madness. <laughs> and then you meet someone who changes your life. And you feel that you don't even know who you are anymore. Isn't it funny how one little encounter can cleave off little pieces of your past, deform your memories and persona, and rethink your whole identity? <laughs> and as you realize how foolish you are, <laughs> your laughter reverberates off the walls of I'm gonna need more specifics. How about we try some word association? That sounds delightful. Acceptance. Let's have to try this now. Look, I'm only doing this to help you. Let's try this again. Acceptance. <laughs> My favorite stage. <laughs> okay. One more. And I need you to be serious for this one. Fate. <laughs> you want to know something funny? I used to think of fate as evil. Predetermined, not by some higher power, no, but by the rules of human nature. But tonight, it's all changed. What changed? Have you ever had the feeling that your entire life has been building towards this one moment? Is that how you feel? <laughs> well, now, yes. Now I realize that all the battles, the bad days, the brutalities, it was all the hand of fate at work. So now you see fate differently? <laughs> Absolutely. Now, there are no chance encounters. It was all meant to be. Everything leading up to who I've met tonight. Back to someone special? Yes. And you might say it's changed everything. Everything? Absolutely. I mean, do you realize what a wild girl is? How lonely it is to wade through all that wretched filth on your own. It is kind of lonely, isn't it? Of course. Of course you understand. Even in a crowd of other screwballs, <laughs> you're so alone that you can kick, claw, yell, scream at the top of your lungs. It's like you don't even exist. How does that make you feel? I feel adrift, floating, like someone's pulled the stopper on my reality, and I'm sucked down the drain into something new. It's all very exciting, really. <laughs> you wouldn't know what that feels like, I'm sure. I might. Can you tell me more about how this person makes you feel? It's like meeting someone I can actually relate to. Which, believe me, dear, I've never felt before. <laughs> you understand. You're someone who's not afraid to let go and fall. <laughs> Free falling, and I didn't pack a shoot. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yes. Yes, I do. I figured you would. So, may I ask, who is this person? Oh, someone very, very special. But whose real name I don't even know yet. Uh, my name's Halim. 
Colleen Quinzel. What a pretty name. Do your friends call you Honey? Oh, ha. I don't have a lot of friends. Well, Honey, you got one now. a bit anticlimactic, but I hoped you might finally be ready to celebrate Christmas Eve, now that the Joker's behind bars. Bane is still out there. I've got to locate the signal from the tracker I placed on him. Even you must eat, sir. If you hadn't called the police, he'd already be in custody. Dispatch, this is Delta 47. You know, I made a promise of my own to your parents. Sign of any cash. Not now, Alfred. It's the story back to the precinct. Place Zvac found bombs under the foundation. Some kind of hopped up freak. Mm -hmm. Must have been 400 pounds of muscle. Took six cops to gun that bastard down. Yeah, I saw the body in the morgue. Couldn't believe it. Sounds like this could be Bane or one of his men. If I hurry to the GCPD morgue, I can inspect the body and the autopsy report. Well, before you leave, I've run some tests on the compound you found at the steel mill. Looks like a match for your globular projectile for non-lethal restraint. You mean the glue grenade? Indeed. The resin has finished curing. It's at your workbench. Of course, I'd recommend testing it here in the lab before you go. But I'm sure you won't listen to me. You never do. So I take it you won't be testing it, then? It's called field testing, Alfred. to find Bane. Is the tracker responding? Not at present, I'm afraid. Let me know if anything changes. Anything. You'll know as soon as I do, sir. I promise. I don't like this. Stops to think twice. That is fear. 
That is what I am. That is why they hired assassins, because I am the reason the criminals breathe easier when the sun rises. So no, Alfred, I am not in over my head. Tonight will be mine. But it will be theirs! I trust you realize you can't just waltz into the GCPD after everything that's happened there tonight. I know I can't do that. I'll have to find a way to get more protection. Indeed. Now look, I'm sorry about what I said before you left. I hope you understand. It's just because... It's okay. I understand. I should try to use my new glue grenade to plug these pipes.
It's not Bane, but one of his men. The same one I saw at the riot in the precinct's holding cells earlier. I should scan his corpse. The victim was dosed with a chemical that caused temporary deformation of his physiology. I'll need to check the autopsy report to find out more. That computer should contain the autopsy report I'm looking for. Interesting. The victim was using a powerful compound with many similarities to the street drug Venom at the time of his death. It changes the user's muscle and bone structure, greatly enhancing strength for a temporary period. It appears that whatever this compound is, it reduces mental capacity in several ways, including severe damage to the brain's memory center. Prolonged use could seriously compromise the user's memory. There's Bane's tracker. of shots fired inside the Coventry district. Witnesses described two armed groups fighting over what appear to be chemical weapons. Requesting any available officers locate and secure the scene. Chemical weapons. I should investigate. 